And Greenville is not the only place high quality jobs are. In the five county area of Pitt, Beaufort, Martin, Bertie, and Hertford, there are more than 5,000 jobs that were posted between July and October. But looking for the right job and having the right skill set is critical. WNCT's Josh Birch is breaking it all down for us. Josh. Well, Angela, you talk to workforce development groups and they'll tell you they're working very closely with community colleges to ensure the workforce is properly trained. Despite unemployment in many eastern counties higher than the state average, it seems that many are starting to see success. Just love the job and I mean, if you, if you love what you do, you never really work. For those about to enter the workforce, finding the right job is key, but knowing the demand for the job is just as important. When they need things, we help them out and stuff, but uh, yeah, there is definitely a good demand for it. George John Miller is currently at Beaufort County Community College, hoping to enter the design industry. He says community colleges these days are really training students to meet the needs of local employers. Like they give us a lot of opportunities here and they really give us a good understanding of what's going on in different places. And the work community colleges do across the east is critical in workforce development. Probably 95% of what we do out of the career centers is driven on the training side by the community colleges. Wayne Rollins with the Region Q Workforce Development Board says looking at trends for job openings is key. In Pitt, Martin, Beaufort, Bertie, and Hertford counties, ECU, Vidant Health, and Pitt County schools were the top three groups hiring between July and October. Of the positions available, registered nurses, tractor trailer drivers, and first line supervisors and retail sales were most needed. There are jobs that exist out there that employers are saying they can't find people for. That's where workforce development groups are coming in, giving folks looking for work access to their website where job listings can be found. And the best news, many of the trainings needed are free. Now, Rollins says employers are really looking for someone who's dependable, can work the needed hours, and who has a drive. Folks looking for jobs, regardless of where they live, are encouraged to visit their local NC work site for help. Josh Birch, 9 on your side.